Hello and welcome back to the Sussex Squadron. You are go to source for all things related to the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. I'm your host, Lawrence Bitt. And today, we have some breaking news that has, that has the entire squad buzzing. But first, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible support and love our community continues to show for Harry and Meghan. Breaking news announcement from today, for today. Now, on to the news. Just when we thought the drama surrounding the royal family couldn't get any more shocking, we have received word of new development that has left many of us in disbelief. It appears that the palace has once again made a move that has the Sussex squadron questioning their motives. Yes, you heard that right. The palace has sent out a photo that has sparked controversy and raised eyebrows across the globe. But what exactly is in this photo and why has it steered up so much controversy? Stick around as we delve deeper into the unfolding story. Speculations are running wild within the Sussex squad community about the contents of their mysterious photo. Some are suggesting that if uh, that it may be a deliberate attempt to discredit Harry and Meghan, while others believe it could be a misguided attempt at damage control. Whatever the case, one thing is for sure. It's got everyone thinking and got everyone talking. On the reaction of the success code, now, let's uh, hear from some members of the Success Squadron about their initial reaction to this news. What are your thoughts on the palace's latest move? Do you believe there is more to this photo than meets the eye? Maybe you should ask yourself that. So, let me read some on your on my blog where people are seeing um someone said that uh, i absolutely refuse to believe that believe the princess of wallace was sat on photoshop the night before mother's day frantically editing a photo with her kids and incredibly odd for her to take the blame for this and the skin is breaking he reacted on the Sky News. People reacted on the picture and saying that uh, William is lying. He assured that statement he has zero access to Kate Middleton. Uh -huh. someone, say, someone else said that uh, William speaks for others in his statement. Harry alerted us to that. So I doubt that is from Kate. The, the easy remedy was so to release the more candid, candid shots, or at least one of them. But no, they have, they have uh, not gone with that. There are simply no lengths he won't go to. Do you believe on that? Another person is uh, L. Smith, where he said that this, this enablement by the British media is how things have gotten out of hand. They have staff smart enough to know better. Are they playing a part in this that, in this that international news agencies refuse to participate in? You're asking. Those are comments from people. I'll, read con I'll, I'll still continue reading for you the comments. Let me still read the comments so that you can really understand what people may be saying. And you can also answer on my blog whatever the 
question I'm going to answer also. Le another person is that is saying that um, this is from Clem being, uh, and I call and I say and she says that she didn't. He really she believes that uh, it wasn't uh, Kate who was writing the message. It's she believes that it's uh, that she didn't uh, write the statement. It was William and his team did this, and Kate can't defend herself because she might be in the coma. William is used to release statement in the name of Harry without his consent. So imagine what he can do to the uh, he can do to Kate. It's sure. Yeah, I believe also on this uh, because. Uh, you really don't know the aim of William to Kate. He, uh, Kate, maybe she wants to go out of the family or she wants a divorce or something like that. But she cannot expose or go out to the media and talk because he's out there being pressed by the media. He's also been talking bad by um, William because he's, he's, William is so risky to him. And also to the royal. Now he cannot talk or express herself. And also she risked to expose the kids to the public. Now William wanted to show that. To cover all this story by using a picture. During and Photoshop. And uh, sent to the media. Now that William realized uh, the media. The people out there. The globe. Realizes that the picture doesn't seem to be true. He comes out again. To come and tell to the people that it was uh, it was Kate who sent the picture on a wrong purpose. You see, there is a drama going on. We really don't know what is really going on in the family. Truly, what I also really believe on my side, it is really damaging for the royals. They knew there would be intense interest in any picture they released of Kate. Their challenge is that people will now question whether they can be trusted and believe when the next issues of health update. No one will have also, I'll also never believe if there is a health issue if to any royal member in the family. So, there is no comment from Kenningston Palace. So, I really don't believe any health issue that will be going to be okay. I haven't trusted them since they watched Megan being eaten by the media wolves and gave her no support whatsoever. I'm really doubting all this. The only way to clear for the royal and the family of William, no, the, uh, William and the, his opponents, the only way to clean all this story is an edited video of her saying thanks, posted as soon as possible. But I don't think that's going to happen because my guess is they are separated at the moment. Who believes so? I also believe that they are really, they are divorced together. And that's why Kate is not seen around. And if he was, and Kate maybe was being threatened, if that TV was, she was going to talk on the media, she was going to be killed or going, going to be set on a coma or being done something wrong. So it's so risky to her family. And that's why she doesn't want to come to the media and talk. William tries and the, his opponents tries to use fake pictures and, and edited pictures all edited things about Kate in order to cover the family. So, we will explore next time. And really, I'll always keep daily and daily, each and every minute and hour, to post a video for everything for you guys and tell you the truth, what's really going on within the family. And well, that's the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us. As we navigate this latest twist in the ongoing saga of the royal family.
Remember to stay tuned to the Sussex Squadrons for the latest updates and insights. Until next time, keep shining your light and spreading love.